What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to do your What's the Tea reading. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you. See what's happening. Here's your energy. What's going on with Scorpio for the weekend? What's the tea for the weekend? Healing. Okay, inner child. Okay, so healing that inner child energy. This could also be like healing within the home if it has to do with children. 21, foresight towards the future. Okay. Healing now so that the future will be better. So that's good. Let's, let's read the card though because y'all know I like to read the cards here. Yeah. I like to read a little shum shum. So let's see. This is good. I like this. Illness and pain in your body is a message for you to slow down, look within, and make important changes. If you are experiencing stress, feel overwhelmed, or suffering elements in your body, or feel exhausted and depressed, it means that your body is trying to communicate with you. Your body wants you to start treating it in a more loving manner and listening to the messages it is sending you. You need to become conscious of the errors in your life that you are avoiding or suppressing. Healing takes time. It is a process. Your first step towards healing is to create a safe, loving, supportive environment where you can listen to your inner wisdom. Okay, Scorpio. So if it ain't peaceful, if it ain't supportive, things like that, if it's hindering you, trying to work against you, and you're trying to heal something, then you need to get away from it. Okay? Anything that's causing anything but that, get away from it. Distance yourself. Okay? Because you deserve to heal. Everybody deserves to heal. What's going on with Scorpio? For the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Confidence. It comes with time and practice and wings. You never needed those wings to fly. So you could be setting yourself free. You could be now like starting to gain the confidence to do this. Okay. 23, that's five. So this changes. It comes with time and practice. It seems like everywhere around you, people are chattering about how confident they are and just how freeing it feels. You wish you could relate to them, but you haven't gotten there yet. Listen, it's all right. Confidence is not an instant or an overnight evolution. Just like with everything else, it takes time. Practice and a lot of unlearning of toxicity. So maybe you've been dealing with a toxic situation or you were in a toxic relationship, things like that. So maybe you didn't feel as confident about yourself uh, you know, as you should. And it happens, honey. I've been in a toxic cycle um, and toxic connections for years, okay? And it took me a long time to heal from that. And the reason it takes so long is because when you're in that toxic cycle and when you're dealing with a toxic person, they continue to like talk down on you, make you feel less than, make you feel like you're not good enough. You're you're not smart enough. You're not lo you're not lovable, okay? They do that to like put the, put you down because it's projection. That's how they feel about themselves. And once you learn that, you're like, oh, honey, bye. <laughs> that's the way you feel you need to you need to deal with that so somebody else could really need the healing but they're just trying to they're trying to keep you in that energy because as long as they keep you in that energy it makes them feel confident you see what i'm saying that's what toxic people do it's disgusting but they do it they will they will trash your name they will talk bad about you they'll create conflict chaos all kind of stuff just to keep you in that toxic cycle. But once you gain the confidence to step away from it, be like, man, I don't have to involve myself in this. Uh, I don't have to deal with this type of energy. That's when you're ready to release. So let's see. What's confidence with healing for Scorpio? What's the confidence with healing for Scorpio? Family time, insecure, child, what's, and money hungry. Well, Doing drugs. You could be dealing some, dealing with someone that does drugs. It's overindulgent. They feel some type of way. Somebody wants you to feel insecure about some sort of family time or feel insecure about your stability, your home, your children, something like that. And then money hungry will do anything. This person, whoever this is, this is a money hungry person. They don't do stuff out of love. They do it for uh, benefit, for gain, for financial gain, uh, for what they can get out of a situation. You know, somebody could be overdoing it when it comes to dating as well. Yeah, a situation is about to explode. It's just about to pop off up in flames. Fighting for what you love, claiming what's yours. Love is about to feel toxic. Somebody is in a toxic love cycle and stuff's about to pop off. Stuff's about to blow up, okay? It's what it looks like. So let's see here. It's like you trying to heal and somebody trying to keep you from healing. Grass looks greener, but it's artificial. And then sexual connection, strictly sexual. Somebody could be in a sex-based connection. There may not be no feelings. Somebody could be doing this because of financial gain, okay? What's going on with Scorpio? 
Some of y'all can be dealing with the same sex. Okay. You can be in the same sex relationship or you're just dealing with the same sex. Okay. Emotional abuse. You know, somebody's trying to emotionally abuse another person with uh, with the same sex. Like this would be like, say you used to date somebody and then they get with somebody new. They would use that person to emotionally abuse you as in they're rubbing in your face or they uh, uh, parade them around and make you feel less than or they'll tell you stuff like, oh, you just wish you were this person. You wish you were as good as this person. Like they they use that as emotional abuse. OK, we have playing with fire. Someone likes to play with fire. Yes, somebody likes to do this. This is a game to them. They pit. Um, they pit two people against each other to make one feel insecure. Avoiding someone's avoiding you or vice versa. You may be trying to avoid this person because you know what they're doing, preparing for what's to come. Yeah, because you know what they're doing. You already know it's, it, what it's about to be. Energy interference. You know somebody likes to manipulate the energy and make it appear like it's something that's not. What's going on? But luck is on your side here, Scorpio. Your luck is about to change because your luck is changing. You're about to level up. Leveling up. Your life is about to change for the better. You, yes, whoever this person was, this whole negative energy, honey, they, luck is on your side. So this person is being blocked out. You're being put in the spotlight in the forefront, and you're about to be treated exactly what you de treat. You're about to be treated exactly how you deserve because you are the diva in your own life, which means you control it. Okay, <laughs> what's going on, for Scorpio? Yeah, second chances. Someone's getting a second chance, so somebody's about to get a second chance here. Okay, at life, this is like a second chance at love, like real love, not toxic love. Tatted person, somebody you could be dealing with somebody with tattoos. Yeah, in my zone, minding my own business. You could be, some of y'all could be planning to get a tattoo this weekend. Cool, <laughs> cool. Um, In my zone, minding my own business. You could be just minding your own business. Focus on yourself here. Or this is someone that has tattoos. They're coming. Love interest, anger person, new love. Some of y'all are dealing with new love. Some of y'all, uh, there's somebody that's interested in you. And others of you, there's somebody that's angry. Okay, it could be all three. All right, wake up. Someone's about to receive a rude awakening. Somebody's about to, yeah, receive a rude awakening here. And somebody could be bipolar, child, and they feelings. What's going on? Competition. Someone's in competition with you or sees you as competitive. Somebody could be like putting you in competition and you're seeing that tapping or somebody wants to make you feel like you need to be competing, but you're seeing something from your higher self. Like, baby, I do not. This is somebody's karma. Like, I, I don't need to compete for nothing, honey. You're not, you're not worth competing for. <laughs> What's going on? PTSD. And they do this by causing you stress. What's going on? Some of y'all could have PTSD from this here. Like if you ever feel yourself, you may avoid like um, my my relationship that I had. It was so toxic that like it would trigger me to see a truck, like the, the same vehicle that the person had. Like it would trigger me. And like I would instantly get angry. I would get stressed. I would get anxiety. Um, like even just seeing this person, like it just, because they were so hateful spiteful malicious this person did so freaking much to me like it was so much stress for years that i had to deal with this person it was like unnecessary like so unnecessary especially when it comes to the kids and stuff like that i want to just freaking pull my hair out like i lost so much weight my hair fell out I, like i was so stressed like i was going days without sleeping like i was just so stressed out and it's like now that i'm free of that is like I feel so much better I feel so much healthier like even people that come up to me now they're like wow like you've done a 360 like I, you just look so much happier you you're just glowing you're vibrant you're beautiful because like I hadn't always been like this y'all like when I was going through it I was going through it honey like my hair I had lost almost all my hair up top like it was so thin like you could literally see my scalp like it was it was just I was pulling like wads of hair out of my head in the shower it was so bad I had lost so much weight and it, it was from stress from what this person was doing, how they like emotionally would tear me down. Like, tell me how when I was this, I was that, like you, you wish you was this and you a hoe and you out. I mean, just running, like ruining my reputation around town. Like it was bad. Then it went from that to the kids. Like they use kids and they pit kids against each other and then stress me out about my children. And then from that to money, like, you know, child support, like, I'm not going to pay. I'm going to be in control. Like, every way that they could control me, that's what they did. Or that's what this person did. 
until I healed, I had no choice but to heal. Like I was forced to heal, you know, through all of this, like forced to like everything that was forced upon me, I had to eat that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I did it. I made it through it, y'all. It was hard, but I made it through it. And now it was like, bitch, I am so motherfucking unfazed. Do you hear me? You said what? Yeah, pull up. <laughs> Come get them. Here you go. Get your kids. Okay. Yes, I'm doing my thing for the weekend. Mind your business. Don't be worried about what I got going on over here. I don't care what you got going on over there. You hear me? Like, I'm to the point where, baby, I don't even want to deal with you. Okay? You done put me through so much stress. Like, oh, my gosh. But, like, once you heal and you become untriggered and unfazed, blessing. <laughs> blessing. So, you're leveling up, Scorpio. What's going on? So, if you're going through that, you will get through it. Temperamental. You'll know if you've been through, like, this type of stress, like, I didn't know it until I started going to counseling. And uh, I wouldn't even want to go on that side of town, like where this person lived at. Like going, and I I, I worked over there. Like going over there every morning would stress me out. And I would just be like, God, why can't I just find a new job? Like I, I literally was ready to find a new job. I wanted to like change my car because like I just, I couldn't take it. It was that bad. It was that bad, y'all. So some of y'all, y'all could have found yourself getting angry. Some of y'all, this person still triggered you. Like to this day, this person, like just the sound of their voice makes me want to vomit. <laughs> that's how much I despise this person. I can't say the word I hate, but that's how much I despise this person. But uh, yeah, we literally can't stand each other. And we have two children together. That's bad. But um, this person here, they tried to trigger you with putting you in competition. So some of y'all could have went through that. And like that just, it, it set you off. They made you feel like you needed to compete. They like, this is a, this is a type of energy where they destroy your confidence. And then they make you feel like you got to compete when you know you don't have to compete. It's just whoever this is, this is an insecure prick. Anything else? Switching up. They're switching up on you. Yeah. Why? Why? Hot mess. Because this is what they do. They're crazy. They do stuff in the background, like the person that I deal with behind the scenes. They won't pay what they're, they're, they won't take care of their responsibilities. And then, like when I come to them and I say, "Hey, like you know what's going on? What you know? Where's the blah 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 blah? The payment? Like we're gonna say it like that? Where, uh, where's the payment? Um, matter of fact, this just happened last night, which is crazy. That's picking up." But yeah, fancy living. So much used to living a good life. Like, hey, what's going on with the payment? You know, why didn't why hadn't you made the payment? I just made the payment. Da, 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 da. I just made it. You need to check. It's gonna post up. Okay. Well, I'm glad. Thank you for making that payment. But um, what happened to the other payments? Because you ain't been making the other ones either. And then it's like this person to trigger you by like being like, oh, like the person said, oh, oh my God, I can't stand you. And I'm like, I don't like you either, but you still gotta handle your responsibilities, okay? Like like, this is somebody who wants to, like, make you go crazy. And then I realized what they were doing is, like, gaslighting. And then this person was like, it was like, see, 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 see. <laughs> this is a childish person. But anyway, somebody's used to living a good life. So, like, if you're live, if you're still living good and they having problems, they don't like that. 1333 on the phone. If they having problems, they don't like that. If they're having financial uh, problems, they don't like that. Cause they see you living good and you're not struggling. So they like, well, why, why I got to struggle and they not struggling? Because I work for mine. How about that? <laughs> I work for mine. <laughs> I work for mine. Marriage. This guy have to do with a marriage. Some of y'all could have been married to this person or there's a marriage or connection in it here. Yeah. Lustful. Look, lustful vampire, sexual drainage. This could have been a person that cheated on, cheated on you or slept around with people. Or this is what they trying to make you out to be. Like, see, this person sleeps around and they not happy and all this. And they could be, honey, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. What else is going on? Yeah, I still, I'm still going through it too, so. What's going on for Scorpio? It's crazy how it plays out. Dust it off and block. Yeah, you better even, like, honey, when they do stuff like this, just be like, okay, whatever. Dust it off and block them and keep on going. Block it out. Drama started. Because... What they want to do is they want to start drama with you so that they can literally point the finger. And it's because they feel rejected. They feel rejected. Or they want you to feel rejected. Like they, but I mean, <laughs> listen, if you're, if you're at this point where I'm at, if you have not gotten here, 
and you're at this point in your life and <laughs> in the phase of your life where you've gotten through this, I promise you, you're going to look back and you're going to laugh because <laughs> you're going to be like, God, this person really got a problem. <laughs> like this person really got a problem. <laughs> What's going on? Cyber bullying. They could be talking stuff about you online, dragging your name. Honey, just bullying you, just talking back. I mean, just an offer. And they could be like, they just mad because I didn't do this, I didn't do that, or because you wouldn't offer them something, or they didn't offer you something. They could just be bullying you, or they don't want you to get another offer. They may not want to see you date other people. You know? What else is going on? Scarcity. I'm telling you, they want you to feel left out. Like, this person wants you to feel like you, like you can't get something. Like... They want, they, in order to keep you, keep them in power and keep you feeling less than, they have to like kill your confidence. But once you're confident, once you heal and your confidence is there, there's nothing they can do. There's nothing this person can do. Yeah, tripping on you. They'll start flipping out on you and stuff like that. Incarcerated, but the whole entire time they stuck in their head. They're the ones stressing, going through anxiety, creeping in reverse. Yeah, fake accounts. This person wants to make it seem like they're not creeping or trying to uh, find out about you, but they are. They could have a whole fake account, y'all. What's going on? Happiness. They don't want to see you happy. Drama starts. So they stir up drama because they know they ain't. Okay. They stir up drama, stir the pot. They want to start the, you know, start stuff with you, but it's because they don't want to see you happy. And that's this person. This person could be threatened or intimidated by you as well in some sort of way. Um, let's get your, let's do Kipper. I just do Kipper on this. Let's see. Any other messages for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? Somebody wants you to stay in bad health, okay? Like, they want you to feel sick, whether it's mentally, physically, spiritually. They want you to feel sick, okay? Courtship at the bottom of the deck. And the reason they want you to feel like this is because if you do, you'll stay in this lower vibrational energy, like you won't you won't awaken and realize like you know what this is an opportunity for me to actually like go after something that I want to like be happy be in love go find new love enjoy myself enjoy my life yeah expectation and gift they don't want you to see it as like a blessing like wow like I can actually expect expect a good relationship a relationship where I'm actually loved like I'm actually you know like it, it's reciprocal you know like it, it's a good thing. They want you to stay like this. If you're like this, when a person can keep you like this in this bad health energy, stressed out, sad, depressed, things like that, they have power over you because then they can like take control, make you feel less than, make you feel like, you know, you're not that good. You don't deserve happiness, stuff like that. That's what people want. That's a person that likes to keep control. They want you to always feel rejected, always feel left out, always feel like you're not good enough. But when you start to heal and you gain that confidence back and you realize like, honey, you were just knocking my confidence because you didn't like my shine. You know what I'm saying? Then you're going to realize how much of a blessing it is to get away from that freaking person. And it's 1818 on the phone. Y'all know what word I'm going for. Narcissistic energy, okay? You're going to realize how much of a blessing it was to go towards a new connection with the courtship. Or how much of a blessing it was that you not dating this person. Okay? Because it's just getting worse. Fake smile. Once you back and dirty armor. This could be somebody. That is faking it till they make it. They're not really happy. They actually want to be back with you here, but they know that you know that they bring in dirty offers. They don't have nothing to give. Because why? This person will do anything for money. They know they cannot use you. You see them for the fraud that they are because the mask has already dropped. You see them as the fraud. So you know that they want to be back with you, but they can't because the only thing they can show up is in, is, is in this turd outfit. Like they're literally a turd with the business suit. And they know that you know that they're a turd behind that business suit. Well, everybody else, they can fool them. <laughs> That's what it is. Love triangle. Yeah, this is why they keep their options open, sleep around, mess around with people. They dirty. Okay, honey, dirty. They have choices. They always, this person, like, even when they was with you, like, this person could have cheated on you and all kind of stuff. And you're like, honey, you a piece of shite. And you already know they a piece of shite because they cheated on you. So it's like, okay, even, they know if they came back to you, you're not going to trust them because they already done cheated and stuff around in community D and all and P and all this stuff. So you're like, honey, I don't even want it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Don't worry about this fool. I hope it brings you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.